What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Couple here back with another video. Video is coming out a little bit late for you guys. So in advance, I do want to say I apologize for that. I let you guys know on my community tab. Things have been a little bit busy as of late, but nonetheless, I am super, super hyped to finally be back, get these videos out for you guys, and you know, nonetheless, get back on the hype to the channel to be your number one source for everything New England Patriots. But New England has made a couple of moves, I would say, over the last few days to a week. And one of those moves is adding former Patriots linebacker uh, Calvin Munson off of the Miami Dolphins practice squad. So straight off the bat, obviously, what does that mean? Well, basically, if you claim somebody off another team's practice squad, it is kind of equivalent to them being a free agent, except you don't necessarily have those rights to them. So if a player is a free agent, any team can sign them to one, their active roster, or two, their practice squad. But if you want to grab a player from another opponent's practice squad, they would have to be signed to your active 53-man roster. And so that is what New England is doing here with Calvin Munson. I know some people said, why is he not a practice squad signing a depth piece and going from there? It's because, again, he is being claimed from an opponent's, again, the Dolphins practice squad, meaning that in order for him to be a New England Patriot, he does have have to uh, be on that active 53. Now let's get into the profile here, a little bit of Calvin Munson, what he brings to the New England Patriots defense. Now a little bit undersized for a linebacker at six foot, but good build at 243 pounds. He was an undrafted signing in 2017. So he does have a good amount of experience in the NFL. He's been with several different teams, which we'll get to in a moment, and is only 26 years old. So he is still in the prime of his career. Now, he's someone that I fully expect to be a day one plug-in for the New England Patriots. Now, the main reason that he is even being added does come to a depth piece due to injuries, which we are, are, which we are going to get into in this video. But he spent 2017 to 2018 with the New York Giants. He spent 2018 to 2019 with the New England Patriots. And then from 2019 to 2021 with the Miami Dolphins. And let's remember that Brian Flores is the head coach, formal disciple here, former linebacker slash defensive coach for the New England Patriots over there in Miami. So really, he has been within that Patriots defensive system because what Miami does and New England does are very, very similar. So essentially from 2018 to 2021, he has been in a New England Patriots-esque defensive system. So because he is very familiar with his defensive scheme, because he did spend a couple of seasons here with the New England Patriots, he's somebody that isn't necessarily going to take time to, um, to develop, to get used to things. He is somebody that should make a fairly fast impact, which essentially led to the New England Patriots signing him. You know, you could say, well, why didn't they look at some other free agents on the open market? You know, why didn't they look at a potential trade? Why didn't they look at claiming another person off a team's practice squad? And it really came down to the fact that New England wants continuity. You know, no matter what position you are, no matter if you're offense, defense, special teams, continuity is something that Bill Belichick, Dante Skarnecchia, the Patriots coaching staff in general really pushes. They rather have a guy that knows the system, knows what to expect, knows the defensive scheme, and knows how to be utilized rather than a guy who maybe is more talented, maybe has a you know better physicality, but is going to take longer for them to develop. Let's remember, guys, we are getting to that halfway mark of the season at this point. There's no time for these guys to sit back, get comfortable, learn the playbook, and adapt to the New England Patriots system. So at this point in the season, it really is best to add a guy that can be a plug-in right away and be familiar with your system. Now, in 2020, he played a total of 16 games. He didn't start in any of those, but recorded four tackles, two missed tackles, two stops. He was targeted once in coverage and allowed the, that one reception for 20 yards and a pass rating of 118.8. Also had three special teams tackles and two special teams missed tackles. So, you know, another big reason that Belichick's adding him here is for that special teams ability. 
Now, if we want to look at his career stats in the NFL, he's played 32 total games. He's started in just seven, a total of 76 tackles, five tackles for lost, seven missed tackles, 23 stops, two sacks, one forced fumble. He was targeted 20 times in coverage, allowing 19 receptions for 208 yards and a 107.9 passer rating, four special teams tackles, four missed special teams tackles, uh, PFF in 2021 graded him 81 overall with 78 snaps and that was the preseason in 2020 they graded him a 46.9 overall grade with 46 total defensive snaps in 2019 graded him 61.1 with 76 defensive snaps and in 2018 66.5 overall grade with 61 snaps in the preseason now again, what this move essentially came to, why this evolved as a signing for the New England Patriots, comes down to injuries. Now, you know, the Patriots do have a, a pretty stacked linebacker core on paper with Dante Hightower, Kyle Van Noy, Jamie Collins, Harvey Longy, Jawan Bentley, but unfortunately, the linebacker core is really banged up at the moment. Dante Hightower missed last week. He's been dealing with some injuries. Harvey Longy stepped in, and actually, against the New York Jets, Harvey Longy was the Patriots' lone middle linebacker. He played middle linebacker the entire game and was the only one to do so. All the other linebackers that New England had were playing outside linebacker or on the line of scrimmage. So essentially, because of these injuries, New England did have to add another guy to play middle linebacker. Harvey Longy was added to the IR with an injury. He'll be out at least three weeks. Like I mentioned, Dante Hightower, he was out last week. His status for this upcoming game against the Chargers is still to be determined. We also know that Jawan Bentley over the last several weeks has been dealing with some injuries. So while I don't expect Calvin Munson to necessarily be a starter the rest of the season, he is going to add depth, and at least for the time being, with Harvey Longy on the injured reserve, I really expect Calvin Munson to be plugged into that exact same role. You're going to see him take over Harvey Longy's special teams reps, and you're going to see him take over the middle linebacker reps defensively that Longy was playing with, you know, Dante Hightower, Jawan Bentley, and etc. being injured. Now, Calvin Munson isn't really a guy that has contributed much in general, uh, but he has a lot more contribution and experience on special teams with a total of 400 special team snaps in his career and only 120 defensively. Now, after the signing, Bill Belichick, of course, was asked about the Calvin Munson signing in a press conference, and he actually said that the Patriots were looking to continue to work with Calvin Munson. Now, he's not a guy they necessarily wanted to keep on the 53-man roster because they didn't feel like he was ready, but Calvin Munson is a guy that the Patriots definitely wanted to bring back, continue to work with, continue to develop, see what he has, and keep him on the practice squad. But again, unfortunately, they were not able to do that as the Miami Dolphins did steal him before they were able to bring him back. So again, we'll have to see if this time around, you know, Belichick and the Patriots coaching staff is able to get anything, you know, out of him that the past few teams have not been able to do. But I do believe that, hey, if any team is going to do so, it's going to be Belichick, it's going to be the coaching staff, and at least they're bringing in a guy that they know how to utilize, they know what to expect, and not, you know, a random free agent that is going to be brand new to the system. Guys, before we end this one off, a huge shout out to the sponsors of this video on the channel, BetOnline.ag. BetOnline is back. They're better than ever with all eyes on the gridiron teams. They are back to start another football season. And as always, BetOnline is your number one spot for all pro and college football action this season. With a new updated site and interface and even more odds and props and contests, BetOnline continues to be the number one source for everything football. All you guys got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 100% off welcome bonus, guys. That is double your initial deposit just for signing up do not forget to use that promo code nfl100 from football to basketball to boxing right to your favorite vegas casino games do not wait to take advantage of all of the amazing available offers still left for the 2021 season again that is bet online your online sportsbook experts but New England claims linebacker Calvin Munson from the Miami Dolphins practice squad what are your guys thoughts on this signing he's a guy that I do expect even if he is released, um, even when the Patriots do get healthy at the linebacker position with Hightower, Bentley, Longy, I think that Calvin Munson is a guy they do want to continue to work with and could be someone we see still next offseason in OTAs and potentially training camp. But nonetheless, Munson is a starting piece for New England right now while they are banged up at the linebacker position. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Remember to leave a big, big like on this video. Subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, appreciate you for watching and go Pats.